rolling easy in the easy garage back at you okay so this video is going to be the holy grail video of blue cards blue blisters so if you're into vintage blister packs i'm going to show you one it's in the it's definitely in the top five i would say probably the top three but it is um it's definitely a tough card definitely a tough number if you're into the vintage black walls and uh chasing number blisters and i do have a like an 88 blister pack that came in too also with that i will uh we're gonna show you but the whole box came in giant box and i'm gonna i gotta give a shout out this all came from diecast tv i think every car in this collection was from diecast tv uh online auction site and i was bidding and won a couple bought uh this is where i get my hunter car loose cars from and the 72 car case that we're going to go through if you want to see them i'll show them to you some of some people they they want to see the cars i'm i'm sure you do all right so first off i'm gonna um i'll show you a couple auctions that i got and then i'll go through the loose box and i already separated the hot wheels from them so we'll do the miscellaneous like I did the last one. And there's some Johnny Lightnings. There are some Hot Wheels Limiteds. And some cool stuff in this box. Because this is the cooler part of it. There's a few. And you're going to have to stay tuned. And in between, I will show you some of the, uh, some of the rare stuff that came in. I'm going to give a shout out to Rick. And do some horse trading for that one. All right, first up, we'll go with the red line. Move this down a little bit. Red line, Maxi Taxi. Came in. It's got a couple chips. A couple chips on it. And I know I have this. Mine's maybe cleaner. But if you know, um, I do need Maxi. I do need a Maxi Taxi for my... um my childhood display that I've been putting together for, oh my God, the last two years trying to find cars. And there is a maxi taxi that needs to be in that display. So this could go in there because I, it, in the picture, it looked lemon yellow, which it does kind of there, but it's a darker yellow and I have a darker yellow. So I'm going to check the condition and it may, it may just go in with um, my little display I'm working on. Up next, what is it? Nitty Gritty Kitty. Nitty Gritty Kitty. This is part of the spoilers line. This one's an aqua. Very rough shape and also missing a tire, but it does have the axle. So these are uh, cap wheels. They don't pop off. Either way, it's still, this is an easy fix. So, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I have that too in better condition. But the price, I had to get it. This one's pretty neat. I think it's a Lambo, right? Yeah, Lamborghini. Lamborghini Matchbox. Vintage, old, super fast. With the, what do they call those? The dish wheels. Very cool. And what's cool about this is, it's a steerable. If some of you guys don't know, some of these Matchbox are steerables. And I know the, the Mustang had it on the side. But if you look on the bottom and pay attention, some of them, you can steer them. That was a very cool piece to my collection. Look, opening doors. Now, back in the day, you didn't have to pay up for moving parts. Now they, they charge you another two, four dollars for moving parts. Okay, that's it on the 
cool stuff there. Let's go through this loose box. Here's what's left over from the, I already separated all the Hot Wheels. I don't know where I put them. But we'll go through those. And there's there's a couple Hot Wheels in here. Anything good Hot Wheels I kept and the common stuff I just put in a box. And here's a Wheaties. Looks like a Wheaties promotion. Uh, who was that? Richard Petty, number 43. It's probably Racing Champions. But still in a little baggy. Kind of cool. Here's a nice matchbox. Super fast. Look at that. How clean that was. This thing is totally, totally clean. And it was in with the... With these uh, junky cars I got. Awesome. That's why I buy these lots. Here's one. Uh, this is definitely Johnny Lightning. A little panel van. Not sure what make that is. And up next, here's a Hot Wheels. Um, Got to be one of the, what do they call those now? The newer line. But it's loose. Very good condition. What, are they, what is this? It's a Chrysler. 34 Chrysler. Real rider tires. Nice to get that. This is a, don't know the name brand. Pretty cool. Looks like Maisto. And this is, this is neat. This is definitely cool. Uh, Zylamax Z car, and I was glad to get this in the box. This to me was worth paying for the box. The wing's still there, the bumper's not broke, very clean. This is an upgrade on my Z car. Um, Zylamax, you have to look those cars up. I do collect them, and that was killer. That's another nice piece. Matchbox. Super fast years. Not the one I need for my case. But I already have one for my case. But I was, it could have been an upgrade. But not the same year. Not the same model. It's pretty neat. Look at this. Ertl. Got a little Smurf. I know this is an Ertl car. Just by the wheels. Looking at it. And Ertl always did crazy stuff like that. Here's, another, here's a Hot Wheels that I pulled out. I, I pulled all the good stuff so you can see it. This was a tattoo machine. Oh, I can't remember how many there were. Eight? I think eight of them. And this would, one of them would make nine because the bus was the only one that had two variations. So there was a white bus. And this yellow bus. And it's in good shape. So that, that was cool to get in there. Here's another new Matchbox. Newer. Real Rider. Or not Matchbox. Hot Wheels. Real Rider tires. Uh, God, what do they call these things? Not 100%. No, I can't remember. I can't. I, I'm trying to look over there to see what they are. They are car culture. Yeah, car culture. But that's one. Real Rider tires. Pretty cool. Neat to get in that box. And Johnny Lightning. Little older ones from the 90s. This is a 442, I believe. Eh, we'll call it a 442. Convertible. Pace car. Pretty neat. Oh, what were these? It was a Hot Wheels. Since 30 or 30 years something, I believe. Anyway, common car. Not bad. Don't have it. I'm sure I don't. Here's one. It's not real rider. But it was a Hot Wheels more limited. Uh, the heck's the name of that? Evil Twin. The Evil Twin. Okay, that has to be a... Um, Larry Wood design, you can tell just by looking at it. It's got to be, got to be. All right, up next, uh, we'll do a couple more, then I'll show you 
a blister and then we'll get into the the very rare this is a majorette which is cool to get i always like getting the majorettes and the off-brand names the little fluorescent color don't care for it here's a hot wheel or matchbox trash truck here's the other side clean they probably pulled them out of blisters and just threw them in the pack I said eric's gonna buy them here's another matchbox I don't know what that is. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. What else is cool in here? Oh, here's another hot. Here's a vintage Hot Wheels. The Mercedes 3, 380. 380 SEL. Yeah, 380. Gold wheels. It's got bad roof. But I don't need it. That would go on the wall, but I don't need it. Mine's mint. All right. So we will take a break from that box. And I'll show you a blister that came in. And we are, it is a Corvette. It's going to be a Corvette show on some of the rare stuff that came in. This is a, a Corvette, custom Corvette. I thought I had it. In a blister and I knew mine was terrible this one's in better condition the they call it the 80s Corvette they call it the custom Corvette it's punched in I thought mine when I when I seen it come up for auction I bid on it and then I looked and for some reason I don't have it so mine I must have um I know my card was terrible, so I must have ripped it and put it on the wall. So that was that was that. So that's how I came about purchasing that car there. And we'll do a couple more of these. And I don't know. Let's see. I'll pick out a couple good ones, and then you don't want to see the rest. Who cares? Um, there you go. A color. This is a color changer. 55 Chevy condition all these color changers they're always rough they're always chipped up and you can see the white paint underneath that's how they usually that's how you find them but I'll check mine and make sure but if you're collecting color changers always look at the base I found so many different base variations on these color changers I don't know, a lot of them, I've seen a lot of color changers from uh, France and different countries, and I got them in different country blister packs. Here's another super fast, older Safari Jeep, not sure what they call it, but it's a, your Jeep. It's rough. I don't know if, if I have it in this color. But I'm sure the roof is worth more than the car itself. And we'll do one more. Let's do an AUG brand. The rest are all pretty much Matchbox. A couple of common Matchboxes. Uh, this is another Z car. Xylomax. What's that? The uh, Nissan 200. Pretty neat. Uh, Go through my uh, Z car collection and see if I have that. I just wanted to wrap these up because I got to get this stuff off the table. And yeah, there's, there's not much left in there. A couple cars, 10 cars, whatever. But I wanted to get these off the table because I've been organizing. So I need to move those off, move this table. So I have to clear the table. So anyway, the Holy Grail. That's what you guys have been waiting for. Well, I'll tell you what. If you go on eBay, the last one that sold was July 12th. And it sold for $755. Now there's two on now. One has a yellow blister. And the blister card is very, very yellowed. 
and they want 590, 595. And there's one that looks pretty clean. It, it's probably cleaner than the one I got. And they want $1,495. So, you want to know what the holy grail for me, I mean, this is a good one. This is this puts me up in the, I'm looking for five rare cards for my blue cards. Well, I won't hold you in suspense. We will do blister card number 30, the Corvette. What are they? It's the 80s Corvette. Now... Even on Diecast TV, when Rick had this thing up, people, a lot of you new collectors, you're unsure. You say, I have this car. I have this car. I have it. If it's, they're looking at it like it's $500 in a blister card. Here it is. There is nothing, there is nothing rare about this car. Nothing. Here it is loose. Same car. And Rick was saying something about someone told him the color variation. No, that has nothing to do with it. Um, this car loose is, uh, let's say, a five to, I don't know. I've seen them, I've seen them go for like 20 in this condition. Like this is totally mint. There's no variations. There's variations on the red one with the tan bag and the brown bag and the black bag and all that. But this one here, there's no variations. This is it, number 30. And I tried to explain it to him. And he, he kind of figured it out. Here's mine. This is uh, from the 80s, what, 88? An 88 card. And it's the same car, same car. This one comes the, from the uh, Louis Mendoza collection from the Mattel designer, unpunched. Now this one here is probably in this, on this card, in this condition, I don't know, what, 50, $75. And then you put it up against that card there just because of the number is what makes this car rare. Hard to explain to new collectors, which is nice, which it's, I mean, it's kind of cool because uh, maybe a new collector will come across the number car collection and sell it to me cheap. Cause I'll tell them, ah, that car's common. It's a common car. I'll give you five bucks for it. <laughs> I'll give them 10. I'll definitely give them 10. But there's this car. Like I said, they're all the same. Same car, this blue one had no variation. Now this one is a little yellowed, but not like the one on eBay now. You can go look, you can go check it out. And there's your other car. But um, the number, the number on the card is what counts. Now these were number two, they are. And there's number 30 in there. I don't know if I can, you can pause it if you can see it. But on the back of this, they were all numbered. Collect all the 1989 cars and the Corvette is number 30 on this. But that means nothing. Anyway, that's the Holy Grail. Uh, I had to do some horse trading with that one, like I said before, to get this car. I appreciate it, Rick. I thank you for hooking me up with that. And if anyone has a comment about that car or, or anything with the blue number blister packs, if you're confused, I can educate you. Uh, the tough numbers are number 12, which is a roll patrol. I think there's a troop convoy. I can't remember the number. Troop convoy, whatever number it is, number 12. Number 50, a Rolls-Royce, which is yellow, which I've never seen. 
And number 51, the Woody. And the Woody, I'm going to tell you, is the yellow Woody. This same Woody. Same Woody as this. And it says number 50 on the back. But it would come with a number on the card like this one. And this one here is, well, this is another uh, employee car. But number 51, my uh, friend of mine had one, and I was there in the room. They exchanged money. Now, this was 20 years ago, and he sold it for $5,000. Five grand, exchange hands right there, car, five grand, boom. Awesome. That's what it was. Now, the price now, I have no idea. Who knows? I've seen them cheaper. I have seen a couple go for $2,100, $2,000, something like that. Between $2,000 and $2,500, I've seen a couple sell. It depends on the condition of the blister, too. Anyway, that's my big score. I got it. Number 30. Now, I'm hunting them down. If you have any blue car blister packs or any red lines that you're looking to sell and you stayed awake through this whole video, hit me up, let me know, and I will be in contact with you. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay easy and don't forget, keep on turning hot wheels.